The following documentary will cover the Stepper program and its participants at the Highfield Center. Highfield Centre is located at the heart of a vibrant and diverse community. The centre provides an extensive range of services, including playgroup sessions, youth clubs, adult learning, the HCAF and community services. Hello, good morning. This is the Highfield Centre. My name is Yaya Waka and this is where me and my fellow participants work on a daily basis. Let's go in. Just open the door for you. Yaya Waka will guide us through the film on exactly who does what. This is the reception where I work. This is where I do reception work. I mainly let people in for security reasons. If they want to use the community centre, I take calls on a daily basis. Hello, good morning. This is Highfield Centre. Um, sometimes I liaise with other departments and um, I do paperwork for other departments as well. I do the photocopying for customers um, after, and so on. Are you going to see you upstairs? Yeah, that's fine. We have all managed to choose an activity which we were allocated to. Some of us chose sport, while others worked at the reception. And some of us chose to work in the kitchen catering. How old are you and where are you from? My uh, name is Danica Barber, 20 years old and I'm from Leicester. My interests are reading and writing and listening to music. I used to play basketball and then before I did all, did all of this, but then it's not really my thing no more. My name's Raj, I'm 18 and uh, I'm from Highfield. Hobbies mainly is like sports, football, stuff like that, uh, playing pool, just going out with my friends, stuff like that, socialising. My name is James Thomas Harbour, I am 20 years old and I am from Moeka Hill. This is on the phone then, by overworking the grids. Uh, and then just that sound? Yes. Yeah. Because if you put too much tension on the wrist, they'll drop their sword. I am a martial artist, I study a total of five different martial arts. I have I've, I've Shotokan Karate, Lao Ga Kung Fu, Bojutsu, Kendo and Fencing. Awesome. Oh, you like that stuff? Yes. My name is Laura Bateman, I am age 20 and I am from the Saffron Lane and I went to South Leicester College. My interests involve painting, drawing and um, listening to music. Um, I do like some sports, yeah. <laughs> like basketball for instance. Basketball. Today I'm going to show you what my normal routine is, daily routine. Uh, so at the minute I'm going to go see Jeff, that's my line manager, and uh, I've got to ask him what my duties are for the day. I will see this in my manager's office. Right. What is there to do today then? Okay, I can set up for the school. Um, pack away, I think, put balls, balls around. So pack away the balls and set up the badminton courts. Uh, so when you go out, just make sure you sign for the key and sign it back. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Alright, cool. Uh, how did you come to come to about the sort of program? Well, I was on the uh, job seekers allowance, so I was looking for work. I was with the job centre. They referred me to a training place and uh, they found the job application online, told me to fill it out, see what happens. So I filled it out, next minute I got a phone call, I was in for an interview. So I just came through that way. They sent me team training and then in training put me on to a step up programme where they take young people into different places for different experience and training. Or in training with agency. In training with agency, yeah. I'm going to speak to Ayub, the HMAC manager, and he's responsible for the step up program. Please introduce yourself and your role at the Highfield Centre. My name is Ayub Zamakda. 
I'm the team leader for the Highfields Multi Access Centre, which is based at the Highfield Centre. Can you explain to us what the Step Up program is meant for? The Step Up initiative is driven by the city mayor. It's aimed at uh, getting 400 people into uh, employment to, gain, to give them valuable work experiences. And our contribution here is to ensure that young people locally can gain work experiences for six months period so that they can get, gain uh, sustainable employment at the end of that period. How did Highfield Centre become involved? The Highfield Centre has had a successful record in training young people. In fact, in 2010, under the Future Jobs Fund scheme, yeah. we recruited 41 people, particularly young people. Yeah. We trained them over six months period and some of the contracts were extended to 12 months. How did you determine which candidate to choose? We had an open recruitment process and we had referrals from the Job Centre Plus and other agencies mm. and we tried to match the jobs we had on offer to the skills and qualities that young people brought. Um, so we had, we had up to six or seven candidates for each particular post mm. based on referrals and from that we invited, we invited all candidates for the interview. We had a personal spec, we had a job specification and we tried to match mm. the jobs to the expectations of young people. So there was a matching process and obviously it was based on fair selection process and now we have young people over here gaining valuable work experience. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, since I've been at the centre, I've received three qualifications which include food safety level two, and it's helped me at home with the cooking I do. We've also done about the fridge temperatures and the temperature of what the food should be at. We've done a course on first day, which is a one day course, and it's helped me with new skills and the types of items which are in, in the first aid box. We've also done a customer service course which is an MVQ at level 2 and it's given me new skills when I serve customers. I wasn't really expecting this but um, being in sports but it's a very good experience and I've actually learnt a lot. Did you expect working with children with elderly groups? I kind of feel I might be working with the elderly but not children. <laughs> and um, what about in the gym? What did you expect? No, I didn't expect working in gym, but it's, a, it's good. I do like working in gym because I get to socialise with And you've got the experience members. as well. Yep. Uh, during my time at the centre, I did about three qualifications, and that included fo food and safety course, first aid, and a custom service course. In food and safety course, uh, it helped me to be more careful when preparing food, and when I get home after work, it also taught me how hygiene is important when handling food. First aid helped me to understand better how to handle situations if someone's in trouble, if they have an illness or someone got in an accident, especially when I'm working in the gym, because that helps. The customer service course has helped me a lot to understand clients better when being in the gym or being at the reception, so I have more confidence now when dealing with customers so it has given me new skills. Sports all key. So I see once I got the key then I have to sign out for it. Before I started uh, I don't know I weren't really sure what to expect. Like I knew sort of what the job post was and you know what it involved but Obviously, once I've been here and started working, it's just been completely different. I mean, I really didn't, I didn't know what to expect when I started. All right, so right now I've got to go into sports hall, I've got to put the goals away and uh, set up for badminton. And today I've got Laura to assist me to do that. Uh, I did the uh, customer service level two. And uh, from that, it just sort of gives you a knowledge, innit? You know, how to deal with like customers and things like that, how to deal with their inquiries and also it makes you more employable you know like for other businesses obviously like if you have an extra qualification it looks a lot better isn't it? you know i like to help out and stuff like that obviously i like to help the kids out you know it's a nice thing i am a catering assistant i chop up vegetables i yeah i prepare food and i serve customers i have done food safety level two in this course, I learned about the laws and regulations of the industrial catering service and the kitchen side. 
which has been quite useful to my uh, the job that I do here. For instance, I've learned about the various things you've got, like the fridge has to be set in certain ways. There's laws and regulations on temperatures of food, the fridges, uh, where things have to be, the way everything is stored. I expected to build up the training and experience and also build new skills in working in a different environment. And confidence too. And confidence. I've built, my confidence is actually getting more and more better now. Yeah, yeah. It is. I can see that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, what were your duties or activities for the duration of this type of programme? In the NH Cafe as a catering assistant and doing for different events do community lunch Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Mm. So you prepare the food? Prepare the food, get it ready, make sure it is ready on time and then the customers come, we serve it. And you have to be polite then, communicate? Polite, helpful, give good eye contact and good communication. Your body language has got to be spot on because then they'll be polite back to you if you like that then. Awesome. Okay, so what are we doing first then? We're going to put uh, four milk in the pan. Okay. Yeah. Keep going till I tell you to stop. Yep. Um, that should be enough. That should right? be enough. Okay. Put a little bit in here as well. A little bit of milk in there. Making custard. We're just waiting for the milk to boil first. Oh. Right, I'm going to hold it for you, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to mix it with you. Oh, no, can you use this? Yeah, okay. Okay, come on. Mix. Leave it on the floor, leave it on the floor. Oh, right. Put it there. Here. Yeah. And just pour it. That's it. It's a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Is it sweet? It is. You have to put the sugar later on? No. No, I did. And it's made by me. Here you go. Yeah. Who made it? Danica. <laughs> Who made it? I did. What were your duties or activities for the duration of the step program? Well, because I'm in the sports department, I'm in charge of setting up the gym, like with the machines and that, and the TVs that are in there, and making sure that health checks while doing in the gym, mm -hmm. uh, and setting up uh, equipment. Sports equipment. Sports equipment. Sports equipment. Yeah. Right. Well, the school has gone for the day, so my job is now is to pack up the equipment that's in sports hall. So what I'll do is sports hall key please. <laughs> yeah, so what I'll do is come in here, get the cupboards open so I can pack the equipment away. My choice wasn't really sport. Before I ever started here, I was looking for a job in nursery nurse instead because I like to work with kids so how will this help you help you in your career or future plans? Well it's not the um the job that I was really expecting but it's made me become more confident and um so sociable now. And you might consider going into sports later on? Yeah. Thank you. Well I was at the job centre for a little while. They were while I was in charge of um, helping me find a job that's actually one that's perfect for me, but I got to sign this. Are you going upstairs? Yeah, uh, to upstairs. speak to Ayub, the manager. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. All right, yeah. Okay. Um, I've got a task for you for today, this morning. We've got a new class starting next week. We need to remind these learners, to remind them to come for the class on Monday the 24th. Yeah. So um, we done, I done three qualifications. Um, all right. So first one was first aid. And the first aid course, I managed to learn uh, new skills that I didn't know before. So that, for example, like if staff gets injured or feels poorly. So as, as colleagues, we have a duty to um, you know, make, make them feel safe. And um, when I work in reception, often I have always I have to always be alert to fulfil my role as a first aider. Uh, would you do it again, or recommend it to I would recommend it to others because I mean, it's a good training experience, and you make you know you build up your confidence, your experience, your skills. And it is, yeah. 
Yeah, I, I would recommend it to somebody else. It's been a good experience, you know, made a few friends and that. I, I would definitely do it again. Yeah, it's been good. The people here are good and, you know, you have a good time. So it's all right. You know, you always want to come to work and have a good, you know, enjoy it, enjoy your work. So yeah, I, yeah, I would definitely do it again. I would recommend it to us. It's a good experience for people to learn new skills and experience. And yeah, and I think That's they'll like enjoy the it. First step towards. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Mm. Cheers. Having gone through the program in the six months, we have all had various experiences that have shaped our future. It was a positive learning process that will prepare us on what to expect from our future, whatever it may bring. <laughs>